Hello class, this is Mr. Perez. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks with uh, the lighting effects and the quick selection tool. I have Cookie Monster here. I'm going to duplicate that layer. So I go duplicate layer. Now I have two Cookie Monsters. And I'm going to shut down the one on top. So I'm going to layer zero. And if I go with the magic one tool, which is here, the magic one selects similar pixel. So I can go like that, hit delete and I got a selection. And if you notice, there's a lot of junk around it, all kind of little white areas. I don't like that very much, so I'm gonna shut that off and I'm gonna open this other one here and see what the quick selection tool can do for me to see if it's a better, a better option. So with the quick selection open, I can actually, by hitting the brackets, make the brush a little larger and I can start selecting. I'm having trouble with the eyes here. They keep getting selected. And that's because they're almost the same color as the monster itself. But that's okay, we're gonna take care of that in a minute. So I can do that, and you see that selection there? I can make the brush a little smaller, go for a minus, which means that it will deselect, and now I got the eyes out of that selection. So I have selected this background area. Now I go to Refine Edge, and I go, Okay, this is what I got. I can actually, there's different ways to see this. I can get marching ends and you can see the selection. Uh, I can have it like a black image over it. I just like the overlay because I get to see more. So once I got the overlay, I click on it and I can expand the radius. And it's what area I'm actually gonna be able to keep. There's a little problem here. I'm gonna fix that later, but this is kind of neat. I can smooth out the selection as well. So it looks even better, it kind of make it a little blurry. So you can play with these tools until you go what you want. And I go okay, and I'm gonna hit delete, delete, and I really like it. Now I can go here to this area, go to the plus, the selection, make it a lot smaller. Again, I'm using the brackets. Those are next to the P on the keyboard, you see, I, O, P, and then you see the brackets. And that expand brushes or reduce them. I hit shift here so I can add to the selection. Go delete, and you know, it's not too shabby considering how quick I did this. I can go with the lasso tool and fix a little bit of this as well. Hit delete. Now, let's say this is my cookie monster. You can do this way better. I'm just trying to make a quick video. See, there's a problem here. I should have a better selection there. So now if I go to filter, render, if I go to lighting effects, I can play with the lights. Let's say I'm doing a composite and there's a light source coming from somewhere else. I can actually change that and make it look like the Cookie Monster getting light from somewhere. I can have a different color light. Let's say it was a sunset and it's kind of like an orangey kind of day. You can start applying those values. This is like an extreme example, but I just want you to get an idea of how this thing changed. So you can change the intensity of it. Again, you can change the light. I go, you know, that day wasn't like that. It was just a nice, bright, blue day. And here's the intensity for the tool, how bright the light is gonna be. There's also different types of light. There's also point light. You got spotlight, you got all kind of lights to go with this. And you can move it as well. You can change different features of this tool. So it's kind of like a really neat tool if you consider how powerful it is. I'm going to cancel it. I really don't need to do this for this one. But this is how you use these tools. If you have more questions, please ask. Thank you.